I've had some requests to do voiceovers, so I'm gonna give this a try here. I'm starting my sunflowers with two brushes. I do have a set of Wilton brushes for pastry, though you can use any clean, unused for actual paint brushes if you have some new brushes on hand. I do like to use a tiny bit of gin or vodka to paint on my macaron shells, though if you are avoiding alcohol or if these are for children, even though it's a minuscule amount, um, you can certainly use anything else, um, a clear extract, even just water, though I do like how quickly the alcohol dries, especially when you're working with something like a meringue or a macaron shell. I'm starting with a small brush in my yellow food coloring gel, and I'm just going to create on this macaron shell one single large sunflower. So I want to center that basically as much as I can. So in my mind, I've created kind of an imaginary circle <laughs> at the very inside of the shell. And then I'm just going along and really quite casually just creating um, petals going outward from that. I do like to just start with a solid yellow base and then as you'll see I go in with my other detail colors after that. If you wanted to draw an actual circle with your yellow just to make sure that you don't end up with an oval or another strange shape, you certainly could do that but as you practice, that probably is not necessary. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my food gel bowl that has a little bit of orange and yellow, and I'm adding just enough of my alcohol to get that into a little bit um, of a runnier consistency before I go through and paint that out into the petals. I don't want to completely go over the yellow I painted, so I'm just going through, as you can see, more or less on one edge and near the base of each petal. I really want to get some definition, but I do want to keep the true color, base color of this, more of a yellow or golden yellow I don't want it to be overly orange, which again is why I also added in that dot of orange into the yellow I have in this bowl. Here I'm going through and putting a little bit more orange in, and this seems like a great time to switch over to my tiniest brush so that I can create some streaks that are not overwhelming, as those first two <laughs> seem to be a little bit. So I'm just going to keep going and adding details in this orange until I'm satisfied with how that looks. Now this may seem a little bit strange, but I am going to dip into my chocolate brown. I am using the same tiny paintbrush that I used to brush on those orange streaks. And I'm just going to go back and create some really fine, small lines um, to add a little bit of definition and also tone down the kind of extreme vibrancy that the yellow and orange are bringing into this macaron and sunflower. I don't really want to go for any sort of neon vibe, so this brown, just a tiny bit, is going to help give just a touch more of a natural look. Once I have that, I'm going to use a bigger brush to add in my leaves, dipping into that leaf green. 
I'm using kind of a rounded off brush here and I just want to go at the side and create basically two points, two leaves coming off from the sunflower. I like to outline where my leaves will be and then I just go in and fill in that leaf using different amounts of food coloring gel on your brush or if you had several different shades of green though i think one is completely fine you can create a bit of definition and then i like to go in with that tiny brush again with the chocolate brown and create a little bit more of um, a shadow or line a little bit more definition again that brown also helps to tone down that extreme vibrancy of the pure natural colors going back into the chocolate brown one more time i'm using quite a large brush here the largest of the four that i have and i'm going in with almost pure food coloring gel. There is a bit of alcohol in my brush, but I want this to be very saturated. And here I'm just going in and kind of dabbing the color into the shell. I want it to be quite concentrated and I also want to mimic the inside of a flower by almost having the illusion that I've created little points instead of just one solid brush stroke. After you're finished painting the brown at the center of the sunflower, you are done. This is the finished look, this is the finished flower for the large sunflower painted onto the macaron. As you see, it goes almost out to the edges, it is basically the entire top of the macaron. I think it is a really bright, beautiful, quite simple look to pull off. Now I do want to demonstrate two other methods of painting a sunflower, especially if you are selling or giving these out as a set. I think it is much better to have a little bit of diversity in the shells and what they look like and the patterns. So here with the next method, as you see, I'm going in from the side and I want to give this um, macaron kind of um, a half or a third of a full sunflower. So it's going to take up the whole side of the shell, but you're not going to see the whole sunflower. I am going through the exact same steps, just in a different position. So as you see, I went in first with a yellow, then in with the yellow and orange, and I will continue on using my different brushes, dipping into that chocolate brown, and then into the leaf green to complete my look.
last thing I'm going to show you today is how to create a cluster of three much smaller sunflowers on your shell. I think that this look is quite delicate and is a really great balance as, like I said, if you're selling these sunflower macarons in a set in pairs or in groups of several different macarons, it's a really great balance to the really large dominant sunflowers that cover the entire shell to have some with a much smaller delicate vibe. So I just went and I like to create a little cluster of three. So one of them, like our previous macaron, is half off of the shell. And then I like to create two more, one full sunflower that is quite close to that, and then a third that is a little bit farther away. As you are painting on this small cluster of three sunflowers, you do want to be thinking about where are you going to put the leaves, um, are you going to do anything else, how big are the petals going to get, um, you know, all sorts of things. Just think about that. A lot of it is trial and error, what looks nice as you go, um, what looks nice paired with the other things that you have already painted, etc. So I am just going back and exactly like I did the previous two, I'm starting with that base yellow, going in with my orange yellow, and then continuing on with the chocolate and the leaf green. Those are all of our painted sunflower macarons. I hope you guys loved this little tutorial. I had so much fun painting these and I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.